Here's the nutshell. I'm a psychic. He is a sympathetic pooper. James, you and Steve rewrote Psych the movie to account for Tim Omenson's stroke, and although he was able to still have, you know, a small and vital part in it, was it always the intention for Psych 2 to be Laster's story? Uh, 100% yes. There was no way we were going to do a, a second movie unless we could bring back Laster and put him front and center. Um, we also tagged in uh, Psych alum Andy Berman uh, to write this second movie as well, because nobody knows... He might, he probably knows the show better than I do, frankly. Uh, but we, we really wanted as much uh, love and, and reverence and history and nostalgia uh, packed into this process as we could get, uh, because we knew that the psychos were missing their lassie and we knew that we had to deliver him uh, in a way that psychos deserve. And well, for all of you, yeah, what was the experience getting to work with Tim again? Uh, emotional, wonderful, magical, inspiring. Uh, he's such an inspiration. He's so good in the movie. Um, and, and I think for all of us, just watching him, uh, his, his recovery and what he's overcome and his spirit and all of that for all of us, I think has just been uh, uh, inspiring. And also, you know, for us having the movie, it was, it was emotional, but it was also celebrating him. Um, and, and, and bringing, we all love it when we're together, but this one was, was, you know, um, was, was even more special having him back. I think for, for all of us, it's a, it's a reminder to, to not take things for granted, to not take each other for granted, to not take days for granted. Um, yeah, it was powerful. I think having Tim back was really a, a checkpoint because as much fun as we had during the first movie, it just was not the same, but. Lassie on in our story is such a big presence, but also Tim Amundsen is such a big presence. And mm -hmm. I came out on set with us. It just was not the same. It was not psych. It was something that was in the form of psych, but it wasn't fully psych. So having the psych the movie too, with Tim being able to show back up on set and bring his whole entire presence in, into the process was uh was fulfilling. It was full of joy, full of love, and full of appreciation. We cherished him. Awesome. Well, and speaking of the set and the story, uh, I loved how it, you know, riffed on Alfred Hitchcock and those kinds of movies. And um, I know that the show is famously riffed on, you know, iconic films from like Clue to The Hangover. Um, but what were you keeping in mind as you were shooting this in terms of like playing to the Hitchcock vibe? We knew we had we had something with uh, with Lasseter being confined essentially to a room and more specifically even to a chair or a bed. And, and so that uh, of course, that makes you think Rear Window, and and it's a wealth it's a wealth of material to you know to riff on in terms of psychologically, like what's real, what isn't real. Uh, but the fact that we were able to sort of bake it into a story that supported where uh, where Tim was and his comfort level, uh, that just I mean that was just a lucky coincidence uh, because believe me, we were going to do whatever felt right, whether it was Hitchcock or you know. That was just, that was gravy. What I love about the movies is that they do time jumps, like they stay in real time and kind of match, meet the characters where they're at in their lives currently. And Maggie and Dulé, if you want to speak to kind of where, you know, Jules and Gus uh, got to be, got to grow before this movie and during this movie and like where they got to get to as characters. For Gus, you know, he's finally at a point where he's in a, a serious long-term relationship, which is a first for Gus, because he has not been able to figure that out for a very long time. And uh, he's trying to be more responsible. At least, at least he's attempting to be m more responsible uh, in, his, in his relationship dynamic with Selene, played by the lovely and the beautiful Jasmine Simon. And, and of course, like, you know, with what comes, I think it's, uh, he, it, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a ramp up. It's a ramp up for Gus. He spent so long kind of being in this place and then now life is taking him on a, on a fast and high ride. Yeah, one of the things I like uh, seeing in this movie, and I, I don't know if this is necessarily growth, but uh, is that Juliet's very getting a little comfortable and uh, 
sneaking around a little bit and maybe, uh, you know, hiding a few things from Sean, uh, like he does uh, with her. So I think, I think that was, that's fun and funny. It also shows, I think, like confidence and that she's, you know, a, uh, moved into a head detective position and all of that. But also I want to echo what Dulé was saying uh, in, in where he's going with Selene. Um, I would also like to see where Juliet goes with Selene because uh, <laughs> they, working with her in this movie, Jasmine Simon is uh, hands down one of the funniest people I have ever worked with. And uh, I want anything to see what, what goes, where, where they could possibly go <laughs> in their duo of being uh, the wives of, or, or uh, yeah, wife, girlfriend to Sean and Gus. I was going to say, you're best friends now, so. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. And that's pretty much. Say Lene thinks so. No. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, thank you so much, guys, for taking the time. I'm sure it's a, a crazy day, but I, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Natalie. Yeah. You too. Thanks. Like the sound of this video? All of our music was licensed from Soundstripe, a subscription-based royalty-free music library for filmmakers, podcasters, YouTubers, and more. Soundstripe. Keep creating.